Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about don't care conditions. Suppose there is a function f of three binary variables x, y and z. Then for some combinations of values of variables x, y and z, function f would be equal to 1. And for other combinations of values of variables x, y and z, function f would be equal to 0. But there are functions for which it is assumed that certain combinations of values of variables involved will never occur. For these combinations of values of variables, function can neither be 0 nor 1. And a digital circuit which implements such type of functions operates under the assumption that these combinations of values of inputs will never occur. So we don't care for such combinations of values of variables. In KMAP, in KMAP, such don't care conditions are represented by marking the squares whose min terms represent don't care conditions by x or by cross. While making group of adjacent squares, x can be considered x or cross, right? Which represent don't care condition, right? can be considered either 1 or 0 to get the simplest expression. It would be more clear after this example. Suppose there now suppose there is a function f which is the sum of three main terms m0, m2 and m4 and it is of three binary variables a, b and c. And the don't care conditions are M6 and M7. That is the min term M6 and min term M7. Now we have to minimize this function F. So first of all, we will mark those squares whose min terms are included in this function. That is M0, M2 and M4 by 1. So those squares which represents uh, the min terms m0, m2 and m4 that is this one, this one and this one they are marked by 1. Don't care conditions that is the min term m6 and m7 m6 and m7 are marked by cross or x. Now the min terms which are not neither marked by 1 nor marked by cross right means uh, those min terms which are not marked they have been marked by zero now we have to make group of adjacent squares now while making the group of adjacent squares x can be considered as 1 or 0. Now here we are making the group of adjacent squares which are marked by 1. So here we have considered this x as 1 because if we consider it as 1 we will get more simplest expression. So here we have considered it as 1. So we know that this column is adjacent to this column so these uh, it, uh, this group is uh, formed which is of these four adjacent squares right now we have to find a common variable the variable which is common to all squares of this group this uh, group has four squares right now the variable which is common in all squares of this group is C0. 
So the function f in its simplest form can be represented as c naught. Thank you very much.